And, and I think that that leads us nicely into this last point we'd like to make, which is that collaboration is incredibly important with all of the projects and work that we have to do ahead of us. Uh, I think every single project that you saw today required multiple organizations and people pulling together to address an issue, uh, find the solution and work to implement that. Uh, there are many different organizations through the gorge who are meeting in order to address issues. One gorge, uh, McKed and Regional Solutions were able to pull together an amazing group of folks during the pandemic to meet and discuss issues. By State Rec is a group that also came together during the uh, pandemic. There's a new network, um, and I don't think I have the name right, but it was originally called Rewilding, and that is a, a group of, of outdoor rec folks who are addressing issues together. Uh, Gorge Transit Alliance, um, uh, Hood Gorge often pulls folks together, um, but also uh, industry groups like the guides and the museums and the art uh, galleries come together to, to uh, work together to find solutions. And this is one of the things that the international uh, uh, organizations who are looking at destinations are saying is absolutely key is for us to come together in these different ways to address solutions together. Again, coming back to the fact that nobody owns a destination and we have to work together to find this. And by working together, it allows us to speak in one voice as we were able to do during the pandemic by highlighting the different messages and organizing together with six different counties in two different states to speak as one, um, as we're asking folks to either stay or give us room uh, to come on out or give us room to stay away. It allowed us to pull together to develop uh, really quick messaging around shared issues like trash. Um, this is a video that we were able to pull from multiple different organizations within a couple of days, each saying, uh, videotaping a little message together and pulling it into one edited video that we then shared out on our shared uh, messaging systems and allowed the guides, for example, to pull together a code of conduct that they could share and also be able to develop a network for them to help with referrals and education of their, uh, their customers and visitors. Um, and the CGTA, the Columbia Gorge Tourism Alliance, we do this on an annual basis where we come together and we address these issues together, breaking out into the different impact areas to uh, identify the next steps for each of these uh, projects and then pulling together through the year in order to bring those together. Um, and we are able to, to identify things um, each year that, that we're able to, to tackle. Um, I'd like to... Um, we, we invited Blumenhauer to join us and he was very close to being able to come in person, but in, he was not able to at the last minute, but he did want to send this video um, addressing this group and, and this, this, um, this, this gathering. So please take a few minutes to, to listen to what he has to say. Good morning. And thank you for inviting me to this year's Gorge Outdoor Recreation and Tourism Summit. That's a mouthful. It's inspiring to see people from across the region gather to deal with how to balance recreation, access, and economic development while protecting the natural resources that make our Columbia River Gorge such a unique place on the face of the planet. In a time of deep partisan division and a dearth of civil collaboration across sectors and almost every level of government, you're bringing people together to take the long view in a way that is able to minimize some of these conflicts. You've got, had now decades of experience and it shows in terms of the progress that's been made. We've seen staggering recreation use at the sites and trails across the board. Cars crowding the trailheads, uh, roads, safety issues, environmental degradation, it has an impact. And you know as well as I do that that impact is growing. How can we manage the tidal wave of recreational tourism we anticipate in the area once life returns to normal? What systems can we put in place to ensure equitable access to places that we love and benefit local communities who depend on that tourism? The challenge is how to sustain this place and the communities and the people who love it on into the future. 
with events like today's summit, you are doing the hard work to address these questions. I've been having conversations with many of you about this for some time. You've helped us explore legislative concepts to improve safety, equitable and ecologically sustainable access to both the natural wonders and the communities in the gorge and the infrastructure challenges. I appreciated your ideas to enhance transportation and transit options, reduce congestion, improve recreational access, enhance emergency personnel access, and more to help address some of these experts. You are the experts here. You're well positioned to tackle these questions and move us into a smarter, more sustainable future. The thoughtful collaboration like this, building the scaffolding that will help the region withstand the pressures of population growth, climate change, and ever more demand. And with policy and partnerships that grows from this collaboration, you can help the region thrive. I applaud the Alliance for bringing us together today to deal with these issues. I look forward to learning about your recommendations, your plans, and how I can be your partner. I know we can achieve a more sustainable, livable future for the Gorge, this precious resource. I look forward to being your partner in making it happen.